What's up guys, Guns for Newbies back here. Today I wanted to do a uh, range comparison of these two guys right here. So this is my custom Glock 19X with Radian Ramjet and then I have the MMP Carry Comp um, here. So I will dive into that um, here in just a second but before we get into that I just wanted to thank all of our um, you know people that are liking, subscribing and staying in touch with the channel. If you want to become a supporter of the channel in the description there is a link to the Patreon. Um, so that way that will help us obviously get more stuff into review. Um, now in terms of these two, I will dive into a little bit of a comparison. Now, you can get all the specs on these um, from a million other YouTubers, but really the purpose here is just some honest feedback on how they st uh, stacked up against one another. So just to give you some reason on why I had compared these is because this one, a big complaint that I hear all the time in the comment section is, well, that gun weighs more, so it's going to shoot better, blah, 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 blah. So um, just to recap here, funk, uh, you know, dimensionally, they're pretty close to the same size okay as you can see the Glock's just a hair longer just literally just a hair longer now um, with that being said I don't want to dive too much into the uh, gun characteristics because like I said there's so many videos that completely detail these guys out but I just want to cover some of the uh, main differences so that way you guys can make an educated decision where you guys too want to buy either of these pistols now this guy comes with uh, this, this is a fully, fully, um, OEM firearm. So I haven't done anything to this. You get, um, so really, really nice sights, uh, serrated rears, um, really, really big night optic, uh, front. It's, I mean, they're the sight picture on these is really excellent. I really do like that. You get a really awesome trigger right out of the, the factory. So we will show that really light. Really, really good break. Really, really good trigger. It's like pretty much whatever the competition trigger is that you would put in this one come basically <clears throat> from the manufacturer on this one. So pretty nice. You get a uh, integrated, in my opinion, port, but they're going to call it the comp. So we'll just say you get a compensator. Um, some nice slide cuts uh, to alleviate for the pressure you're losing for the comp. Some really nice slide serrations. I do think this gun is super oversprung and... I don't know why. I mean, literally pulling this thing back, <clears throat> it's not the heaviest, but I think that they definitely could have went lighter. Um, it feels like my Hellcat Pro has a better um, uh, action here. Like this just feels super heavy and you can really feel these digging into you. I mean, th the slide serration part is not the issue. I feel like the, the guns just oversprung for the factory. So um, that's on that guy. Now on this guy, you're going to get, and this one's obviously not uh, all OEM, but really, I have a Terran Tactical Trigger in here. So the Terran Tactical Trigger kit's like 40 bucks, and it's well worth it. You're going to get a different uh, trigger. Uh, I forget what they call it, like disc, not disc connector. It's, um, I would have to uh, brush up on that because it's been so long since I even put that in there. But um, you can look at the Ter Terran Tactical Trigger kits. Uh, you can either do the trigger. The trigger kits are exactly the same. If you pick Competition, then you'll get a different striker spring. If you do the carry one, then it just will leave the OEM striker spring in there. So not really that big of a difference, but I think it's only like $5 difference or $10 difference there, but it's well worth it. I have, um, not in this one, this one, I just have everything other than the striker spring and the black Glock that I have that I currently have getting some work done has the, um, the competition one in there. And it is just you know, it, it is lighter. So I really do like that. I really like also the Terran tactical triggers. They give it a rolling break. So as you can see, it'll kind of, there's no wall. It just completely keeps going and then breaks. That's what I've just been accustomed to just from across shooting my SIGs. They don't really have a really defined wall like this one does. Um, but that's just my two cents. So, you know, $40 trigger. Um, and just to give you guys retrospect, this is about a thousand dollar gun. So this one is, I mean, you buy them for like five, whatever, let's just say 600 bucks. You put a trigger in there, it's $40 for the mechanisms, especially if you can put it in yourself. It's not that hard. Um, this one I did stipple. I don't remember what I paid for it. Let's just say, uh, because I got it done through SRB customs and he's really, really, uh, quality wise is amazing. And he's also very affordable. So that's, let's just say two fifty. So right off the bat, we're right around $900. And then, um, the Radian Ramjet is something else, obviously that you have to buy those range all over the place. I mean, depending on if you find one used, you can pick one up for a couple hundred bucks. If you buy one brand new, they're closer to 
three or four hundred dollars if I'm not mistaken. Um, you got a Magwell, which this one doesn't come with a Magwell, so it's not like you really have to have that. So we'll leave that off of there. Um, extended slide release. I really don't know why. I, I was like, it was just like a cool factor when I put it on here so long ago. Um, and it was actually left over from the fir very first Glock that I bought. So I think it was just at that point sentimental. But I mean, it really doesn't need it. Um, so we won't put that in there. Iron sights, we will put that one in there because I feel that the OEM iron sights from Glock are terrible. So these are the... Uh, Trigicon HD night sights and I love the pinched kind of rear and the big front post. I have a set of the HDs. I believe it's HD XRs and they come with a thinner front post and I just do not like those because the back is exactly the same and instead of giving it like a a smaller cut here and a thinner post it's a bigger cut and a thinner post so I really don't like how that lines up personally. Um, and they're more expensive, so I've just kind of learned to like these the best, and that's what I'm the happiest with. But all in all, um, you know, let's just say um, if you were just going to do stippling, a trigger, sights, and that, I mean, you could be right around, you know, let's just say, you know, close to maybe 1200 bucks somewhere around there so you know for a fully customized uh, glock that you can do your own thing because that's the other thing too is like you can get whatever pattern you want you can do whatever stippling you want um you can get whatever sights you want you can change this out and do a better trigger system if you really want to although this one has been perfect for me um and then even like uh, these, they have different barrel colors now, which is really cool for the compensators. Um, it's just fully customizable. There's so many different options and they're pretty close in price. I mean, a thousand bucks to let's just say 1200 for this guy. It just depends. I mean, you might not even want a stipple and you could literally, um, if you like the OEM texture because you're going to carry it, then you can literally leave that off there. You can do a better, I, I think the better trigger is really necessary if you're going to be comp uh, comparing these because this one's so much better. Um, and it's even better, in my opinion, than this one's even better than this one, how it's set up um, trigger wise. But I'm more used to shooting this one so I can shoot this one a little bit better. So if that makes sense, I mean, it's whatever you're practiced with. But all in all, both guns are, are great guns. But I will say uh, this gun shot so much more um, flat, just in a much more pleasant recoil sequence. So really when I was shooting and I'm driving up on it, you literally, it's just going straight back and you get a little bit, a little bit of pop in the front where it, it snaps up. And now on this guy, I know it's a combination of the grip angle. So this one being a lot, it dips more forward. So you can kind of get more forward on it and get kind of like a more aggressive uh, pinch on it. So you're essentially like rolling your hand forward. So when it's recoiling, if you're more forward like that, you can drive the gun so it won't snap so much up. Um, but also there was just something about the actual way that the gun was designed um, on this guy specifically that where I just did not like shooting it. Like the recoil felt good when you're taking um, slower shots. When you're taking some faster shots, you really start to notice when you're pinching this guy and this starts coming back, it's a little bit higher of a bore axis. I know a lot of people complain about that, but that doesn't really bother me. Like I shoot SIGs and I love the recoil pattern that they have. This one for me still would literally just, it didn't have a lot of recoil coming back. It was all coming up, which really started to like when you're really shooting fast and shooting a lot, it starts to really tire out your wrist. And I just don't really like it. I actually enjoyed shooting my Hellcat Pro Comp more than I, sh I liked shooting this one, which is really saying something because I have the full size competitor. And I remember that's kind of the feeling that I got shooting this non comped versus the full size competitor. And then I got those three uh, on each side, the ports on each side, and the gun shot way, com like completely way, way more flat. And I really enjoy that gun. This one I just flat out don't. And I really don't know any other way how to like tame that. Um, obviously you can get used to it. Um, but if you're comparing side to side, like this to this gun, I mean, this gun just literally blew it out of the water in my opinion for how I shot. Now everyone's going to have their opinions and say, whatever. Um, people are going to say I'm too hard on this guy. This is a much more expensive system, whatever, but it's really not. I mean, they're pretty comparable in everything. If you decide not to stipple and that's my personal preference because I like having a, a more coarse texture, but there's people that literally shoot this fantastic with OEM, 
you know, uh, grip, the OEM grip. And then this one already comes with some pretty fantastic grip. I mean, this is even grippier than this one. I mean, this stuff is like crazy sharp. Um, but I will tell you, if you're going to go and you shoot these side to side, every single person that shoots them side to side at the same exact time is going to prefer the Glock. I mean, it just shot softer, um, had way less muzzle flip. Um, the trigger was, it's, it's far better in this one. That's, that's what I'll give it. I mean, oh yeah, I'm out of the box. Like, this is a fantastic gun to go with if you want to get used to it, to do competition, to do range, whatever you want to do, that's fine. But it's not going to, in terms of like whoever's really out there just for a uh, recoil pattern, like I'm only worried about how quick I can get back on, on target and it be as comfortable as possible for me, you're going to want this guy. The combination between the grip that you can get on it the recoil that you get on it, I mean, it's, it's honestly pretty, pretty, um, drastic. And I didn't really like this when I first got it, but I had been shooting my staccato P that's ported a lot. And so when I went to this one, I think that I just had higher expectations that I, that I needed to have. But then of course, um, since I've, um, been back looking at, uh, you know, all the guns and doing everything again, I have completely, you know, been shooting, you know, this guy, I've been shooting my uh, AXG Legion, I've been shooting my M18, which I'll have a video coming out of that because I just did a really, really nice uh, fully uh, aluminum grip on that. And we'll talk about if that's worth it or not. But this guy really, really outperformed. And especially for how light it is, it's a little bit longer. I mean, it's a, it's the same length now as a G17, right? Um, but I mean, with that, you can just get a G17 holster if you wanted to carry this guy. It'd be an excellent option. It's super lightweight. It shoots really, really nice. And especially once you get used to the trigger, you can literally be really, really good with this pistol. So um, it just is what it is. I will um, go now into the uh, range footage and then we'll come back and give our final thoughts. Okay, so we got some 124s here, but we're going to compare the recoil. This one on 124 was still very soft. So we're just going to compare these two. One, because uh, grip length in a slide is pretty much exactly the same. I'll close this so you can see. Uh, as you can see, it's virtually the same pistol. Just a little bit longer than the Glock. This one shot amazing, though. So we'll see. Shoot this guy, and I'll let you know what we think, okay? We'll just, we're just, this is just mainly for recoil, so it's not about, like, accuracy or anything. So that's why I just got the... Um, target there at 15 feet, but we'll see what... Uh Okay, so right off the bat, I will tell you, this one way more muzzle flip like it was just like every time it was shooting it just felt like it was bucking upwards this one definitely felt a lot better like especially like when you started shooting fast this one i felt like was really 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 snappy um so i mean in terms of everything now obviously this one costs a lot more to build you got a little bit more budget friendly gun this one's still a great shooter but i do think that it, it had a lot of snap like a ton of snap so um and especially for this uh front comp i felt like it should have been better okay guys so now we're back and you saw the range footage and that is all for you guys to completely interpret on your own self i'm telling you from firsthand being the one shooting in this video this gun shot ridiculously like muzzle rise like comparison probably like I hate putting a number on it, but I would say like literally almost half, like 40-ish percent less on this guy than there was on this guy. And it could have a number of things to do with it. Now at the time, right now I don't have a light on this guy because I'm actually getting rid of it uh, because of this, which it is what it is. But um, I did have lights on both of them when I shot them. Um, I really just don't know what else there can be. I mean, this is already a heavier gun from the factory. And in my opinion, metal grips really do help tame it so i'm not really sure what the deal is there but um just the way that this has been constructed just in my opinion just it could have been done better by smith and 
it's really something because after I shot this guy, I shot my Hellcat Pro Comp, which is a much smaller pistol, and I enjoyed shooting my Hellcat Pro Comp 10 times more than I enjoyed this. It felt like it had less recoil because of that. Because it's all, I mean, recoil is such a relative term. I mean, recoil is just the, what you're feeling, like your impact. So um, whether it's muzzle rise, whatever, I mean, it all plays a hand in how the gun's going to recoil. And that's what really is going to concern you as a new shooter. You know, do I have the best grip technique to be able to tame a gun like this? Um, and when I say that, I'm talking about getting good with it, being proficient with it. Is this a platform you're going to want to spend a lot of time on if you're not going to like the recoil sequence? Now, maybe you're a guy that's used to MMPs and this is right up your alley. Well, then this is a fantastic gun for you. But I'm telling you, um, I've always preferred Glocks and I really don't know why. It's just kind of what I, I learned to shoot. And I shoot, obviously, I mean, the 2011 platform is just unmatched. I shoot that the most accurate out of anything. But um, I really do just think that if you are around Glocks and you're looking to get that extra bit of performance out of it and just practice, I definitely would suggest getting the Radian uh, Ramjet. So that way you can take take your shooting to the next level. I would suggest some stippling, and I would suggest a better trigger and better sights. Those are the biggest things that you're going to be able to do. Also, a light's going to help too, um, and especially with the uh, the um, radian pushing it out a little bit more. You could go to a TLR one. That's going to give it. Uh, I think this is about a two ounce light. You'll be able to go to a four ounce light, and you're still going to be underneath what this guy weights weighs without a light. So you're still going to be uh, in pretty good shape. And it's going to shoot fantastic. That's going to make you shoot even better. So, you know, take this video for what it is. I wanted to try to give you guys a comparison. There's not really a whole lot. I mean, everyone talks about how great this gun is, which it is great. This is not meant to be I'm bashing m and I'm just saying for similar amounts of money, you can get something that you put money into. And keep in mind, I mean, we're probably about 550 rounds for this guy is a little bit of carbon buildup. I haven't cleaned it at all yet, but it's been 100% reliable. We've shot 115 grain ball ammunition. We've shot 115 grain uh, jacketed hollow points. We've shot 124 grain ball. We shot 124 grain hollow tips through this. Um, and I actually probably put about 200 uh, through the, fir the first shots through this were probably 200 uh, uh, jacketed hollow points. So um, that's really saying something. And I haven't had any malfunctions with this guy. All in all, I hope this video has helped you guys. If you guys like um, what you guys are seeing, just remember to like and subscribe. And if you, again, if you want to become a supporter of the channel, the link is in the description. Um, very cheap to sign up and uh, start helping um, out for the future videos. So thank you guys so much. And again, stay tuned for more uh, videos.